since I have last uploaded a video it has been a whole month so basically today I will give you an update of why is this happening and basically answer the question am I quitting YouTube altogether so basically why I have decided to not make any new videos for an entire month is pretty simple basically I didn't see the desired results the expectations of making YouTube videos in regards to views, watch time, subscribers have not satisfied me. And basically at that particular time I had 148 subscribers and I have decided I will stop producing videos until I will get over 150 subscribers because I just didn't see the growth that I have desired. I have produced over 100 videos and the progress was extremely slowly and I had a lot of stuff to do and basically my whole day in the given week was already packed with other stuff. So I had to set priorities. I don't have a problem producing these videos, but I must see that I'm getting some kind of results that people are watching subscribing that they are getting some good information from me so i'm helping other people and if i'm just making videos for myself watching myself and nobody's watching them or getting anything positive out of these then there's no point making these videos so since i had produced over 100 videos i had decided to quit cold turkey and i did said to myself if I will reach 150 subscribers then I will resume producing these videos and what has happened is in the first few days I have lost one subscriber so I was down to 147 and at that point I thought to myself well that's it I even lost one subscriber and now it's pretty unlikely that I will get some subscribers so in my head I was kind of done with YouTube so basically I accepted the fact that I'm not an exceptional guy there is a lot of competition in this fitness niche so you have to know the time when you should retreat from something it doesn't make any sense to focus on that thing put in a lot of effort in there but basically you don't get any results so you just have to know the time when you have to quit and, and now fast forward a little bit a week went by two weeks went by and the subscribers same number 147 but then at week number three and four where i haven't produced any videos they started to increase a little bit so i got to 148 49 150 and then 151 and even 152 so five subscribers gained in the last two weeks while doing nothing so i didn't produce any videos so that means they have come from my past videos and now i have over 150 subscribers and they have come from my old videos and when I'm checking out the analytics, I'm getting views, I'm getting watch time. From time to time I get the subscribers. And I also checked out one interesting thing. That's basically a metric of how many subscribers on average you can expect to gain every 1000 views. And the answer is 3 to 5. So that's on average. And basically I have checked out for my channel and for 100,000 views I get like 4 to 5 subscribers. So that's an average pace and I should be glad that I'm on this pace. So I don't see any reason why I should stop. So basically I am over the 150 subscriber mark and the question whether I should continue YouTube is a big yes. So I have to do this because I kind of had unrealistic expectations at first. So for 
every 1000 views you can expect to gain three to five subscribers and i'm in this ballpark so i have to set my expectations a little bit lower and basically continue grinding continue putting out these videos and eventually i will get there so there are some people watching so maybe they will get something out of these videos so that's what i hope so basically i have answered the question why i haven't produced any videos and whether i will be quitting youtube or not so as you see not and now i will just talk briefly about the future of this channel so have i quit fitness have i quit working out the answer is no whether i am producing videos or not i'm always on the grind so as you see the gains are not lost so i'm continue working out anyways i had some setbacks here and there i don't want to talk about them right now so they are in the past so i kind of overshoot on the calories for a couple of weeks so i have posted a physique update in my last few videos and at that time i was waiting about 81 kgs and now the weight did creep up to like 84 and a half kgs so it happens we all have setbacks we all have times when the mindset is not that strong so basically the first goal will be to cut a little bit of this excessive body fat since we have still summer and i kind of want to get back in a leanish state and prove to myself that i can once again stick to a nutrition plan and not go on this yo-yo dieting for example like fasting for 72 hours doing 48 doing omad doing two meals a day going on a regular calorie deficit i want to establish a eating protocol that is more geared towards a longer term approach and basically i will make some videos about fasting i will address some pros and cons of what i have learned so basically i want to outline now the timeline of what you can expect going from here on now so number one would be more consistent videos i will try to put at least one video per week so that's the bare minimum now the second goal would be to cut down to 81 kgs so that's 180 pounds and basically don't go over above this weight so i will set my weight for now at the maximum cap 180 pounds and i will not go above it in the nearest time so that's the maximum weight allowed for my physique and i expect to reach it in the nearest 60 days so now we have the mid of june so somewhere around mid of august maybe beginning of august i will be done with this cut so the nearest two months will be focused on losing fat and after that i have considered how should i structure my training once again at the moment i am training at home and outdoors so i was not going to the gym for three entire months so that's pretty unusual for me but because of this virus situation everything was closed down and now is the question should i return to the gym the gyms are now open and i was debating how should i structure my training and personally if i wouldn't make any youtube videos i would most likely stick to home and outdoor workouts because i can save quite a lot of time I don't have to drive to the gym and back i don't have to waste any fuel any traveling costs i can perform the workouts faster nobody's bothering me so no people are hoarding the weights i can film videos without any problems basically i can train in my own environment set my own rules but it would be not that interesting to 
show these videos to you in my opinion because I expect most of the people will be training at gyms anyways and I have decided if I will be continue producing YouTube videos then I will return to the gym basically to produce more interesting content for you the viewers and basically to push myself once again so I have decided to continue the bench press diaries so we will go to season number two so the last bench press my maximum one was 102 and a half kgs for one repetition so basically i have completed my goal of benching 100 kgs for one rep and now in season two i have decided when i will be returning to the gym i want to reach at first a uh, bench press of 100 kgs 225 pounds for five reps so that's goal number one and the second goal will be to achieve a new one rep max that's 315 so three plates on each side so that will be my dream one rep max on the bench press and i will be heading towards this direction so basically i will now reduce the body fat to a level that satisfies me and i will keep it under control and then i will get back to the gym and attack the bench press very hard so i will be producing videos around the bench press how to improve it reviewing various programs and basically push to that 100 kgs bench press for five reps and then aiming for a new one rep max of 315 140 kilograms this will be a long-term process and i can make videos around this topic for a long time so i don't expect to hit 315 this year it will happen most likely by the end of next year so in the year 2021 at the end of it i expect to hit 315 when i will be 30 years old so that will be my ultimate goal so right now as you see i'm developing this mindset of a longer term approach in my training in my nutrition and also making these youtube videos it's not a sprint it's a marathon it's better to produce like one video a week than to produce one week four the other week one the other two weeks nothing at all so i will be on a more consistent approach this time around so basically that's it for today's video i have explained why i haven't produced videos for an entire month and basically i have outlined what you can expect if you choose to follow along this channel and my journey so basically that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and see you soon next time. Bye.